Oh, it's very strange because I was born in Finland. I grew up in Finland and then after in Montreal in Canada before I went back in Finland and after in France. So that means I'm not really a French guy, I'm a little bit a mix of everything. <laughs> I'm not so sure that I want to go back in time because I'm very nice to be here. In the last century, we discovered plane, rocket, we went to the moon, we can phone everywhere, we can be connected with all the people in one instant, which is very nice. So imagine now, go back in the 16th centuries, you are going to be killed by any type of flu and disease. No, I'm very nice here. I think that I will take a book anyway, because you can read it and reread it. That can be a very mm -hmm. simple book like The Little Prince or something like The Lord of the Ring if you want, but really something that you can read. It's very funny because when I was very young, I would prefer to have as a job like ethnographist or something like this, that means to study people, customs, history. Mm -hmm. And at the end, of course, I make pharmacy, which is uh, not exactly my dream, but not so bad at the end. <laughs> I study pharmacy first and after I make some extra diplomas in mathematics and so on. I joined the industry and I tried to discover drugs and to develop the drug as short as possible because time is always a problem because it's running and that costs money. And then after I leave the industry, I joined the university and now I try to transmit everything that I have learned in industry to my students. So it's a combination of everything. because you can pass information, you can really explain to the people, you can try, try to help them to understand, and somehow you are very happy when the people have to sometimes tell you, okay, I don't need you anymore, because I know everything, and I go further than you have learned me, and teach me. Fantastic. And 